Hey everyone, okay, so today's video is on um, a technique that I mentioned many, many, many years ago, and I'm gonna talk you through it today because it can really help to lift the face, to give the illusion of a lifted face, a more youthful face, a more delicious face. Now, this technique um, can be used on anyone it doesn't really matter. The only thing I will say is that if you are very, very young, it's really not the most appropriate um, technique because it can age a face or mature a face. And that may not be something, you know, we want to do, particularly if you're 16, not a good idea because you don't want to look older. Trust me, you'll get older, you'll wish you looked younger. So this technique is very, very specific to your face shape and your eye shape. It will look completely different on you as it does to me. So what I'm gonna do is map it out for you on my face to begin with and show you how it would look and where the placement goes. Now remember, this is just makeup, it washes off. If this technique doesn't work for you, it's no big deal. It doesn't matter, it's just makeup. So let's make a start. Okay, so the first thing I've done is drawn a line. Now this is meant to be a straight line, but it's just to give you an illustration. It's actually quite difficult to draw a straight line on somebody's face. The line that you're going to be doing, and it's, you're not going to be using pencil, I'm just using this as a map. What you want to do is take the outside corner of your eye, and that is a line. You want to put a line, or imagine an imaginary line, running down from the outside corner of your eyelid, wherever that may be. Because for everyone else it's different. Close set eyes, it's going to be much more closer in. Wide set eyes, you're going to have less of space, but it doesn't matter. So right to the outside corner of your eye. Now what we want to do with this line, this magic line, is we want to lift the face. So everything that we do with our face, highlighter, blusher, and contour, will stay within this line, this way. It will never come out farther than this line. Does that make sense? So no more apples, uh, blusher on the apples of the cheek. This line is our guideline, and by keeping everything from the outside corner outwards, it will optically lift the face. So let me show you the placement of where highlighter would go on my face as an example. So highlighter for me would actually go here, which is actually directly level with the eye. So you can see that's where I will put highlighter. Now if I look just directly in, you can see how it would lift this corner. Now my cheekbone is actually here, and you can see I've applied it slightly higher up. Remember, we're trying to pull the face, lift the features. So this is the area where I would, on my face, highlight. So using a red pencil, this is where I would apply blusher. Again, it's high up on my actual cheekbone. Now again, I'm using stripes as an illustration, but these two would be blended in so that this blusher is bleeding in slightly to this highlighter. So it's this beautiful effect. But you can see just by looking on, that it's pulling up, we're always pulling up. And then finally we'll do the contour. And this is where I would place the contour. Now I don't know if you can see, but can you see it started from the top part here of my ear and then goes down? Because this is where the darkest part of the contour would be, right here by the hairline, by the ear, top part of the ear, and then travels down just underneath my cheekbone. Now obviously again, no stripes, nothing like that. These would all be blended. But think about it in this way. You can see what it's doing. It's pulling the face up. And that's what this line does. And it's different, again, on every single face shape. On your face shape, it will be totally different. The placements will be different, but the general rule still applies. Now, I actually learned this technique from a really old makeup book by Wei Bandy. And um, that was actually the makeup book, by the way, that Kevin O'Quire used to train with, which is really cool. He used that as his reference. It is an amazing book. It's out of print, but you can probably get it on Amazon if you really want to. Regarding the forehead, because we're just talking about the line, you can shade across here if you absolutely want to. But remember, when you're shading with a bronzer on this outside portion, you see what I've done? It starts off slightly heavier here, and then it fades up into nothing. So you're going thicker to thinner. And again, you can see it's pulling back and moving things back. And there you go. I look totally mental, but that's okay. I'm doing it for you. So there you go. That is the magic line technique. I hope that that makes sense to you. And I hope that you can get something from that because it really is a cool technique that can truly lift the face, particularly when you're sort of 30, 40 and above. It can make a massive difference to lifting the features of the face. And it's one that I use all the time because it's so cool. There you go. 
Also, it's really fun. Next time you're applying blusher or highlighter, try it in this technique, right? In this space, you will realize how far forward we actually come until we're limiting to a certain square circumference here. You will notice how much you actually go into the face rather than out. So let me know what your thoughts are and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.